I'm now going to show you how to deposit your thesis into Symplectic Elements. So Symplectic Elements is used to deposit your thesis. You'll need to make sure that you've got your mobile device on hand in case you need to use multi-factor authentication in order to log in to Symplectic Elements. Here you'll see the Symplectic Elements homepage. In order to deposit your thesis, you need to scroll down and under Publications here on the left-hand side, you'll see a button Add New. Here you'll be able to see all the different types of publication that you can add into Symplectic Elements. If you scroll down, you'll find Thesis on the bottom row. Here you now need to fill in all of the information related to your thesis. So first of all, you should tell us the title of your thesis. Next, you should skip this step. There is no need to search for the title in Symplectic Elements. This is because your thesis is unique to you and there should be no other reference to it in Symplectic Elements. This blue box at the top of the page gives you more information about your submission. So it gives you details of contacting the thesis team, the thesis access confirmation form, which you'll need to have signed by your supervisor, and then what to include with your doctoral thesis deposit. Any fields marked with a red asterisk are mandatory. So first of all, what is your relationship with the thesis? So you are the author of. The thesis author has already been detected and now you should include your external email address. This is so that we can contact you should you leave the university. Now you need to choose your awarding institution. The tool tips on the right hand side give you more information about what is included in each field. Supervisors. You should now add your supervisor. Type in their surname and their first name and click add. If this is the correct person, then you can click yes. Here you've got another opportunity to check that the thesis title is as you expect it to display. Then you should choose the qualification level. Here you should choose doctoral and your degree is Doctor of Philosophy. Date your thesis has been submitted. So this is the date that you submitted your softbound, not the date that you uploaded your electronic copy. So you should choose the date from the calendar. Abstract. Here you can include the abstract as it displays on the first page of your thesis. Keywords. Here you might like to let us know some keywords that relate to your thesis. Type them in. And add and press add. access to your digital thesis. Here you should now choose the access level for your thesis. This helps us make sure that we apply the right embargo should we need to and make sure that it's available if you've chosen open access. So I'm going to choose open access. Rights and licensing. Now you should choose the copyright license that you'd like to apply to your thesis. Use of third party copyright material in your thesis. So have you used any third party copyright? You should choose no copyright, copyright cleared or copyright uncleared. I'm going to choose copyright cleared. Use of confidential and or sensitive information. Now you should let us know whether there is any sensitive information such as um, information to do with people's personal data or anything to do with patents. Otherwise, you can say that you don't have any sensitive information. If you received any sponsorship or other sources of funding, you can put that in this box. And if you have any comments for the thesis team, then you can add them here in this box. This might be that you would like to request a specific access level or you have a query about your form. 
Finally, you should agree that this is a direct digital equivalent of the copy of your thesis that was approved by the university. You can then click save. If you have any grants listed in symplectic elements that are linked to your thesis, then you can add them here. If your grant is not listed or you weren't funded, then you can move on under the more actions on the right hand side. So now you need to upload the files. So here you can click deposit to Apollo. And now here on this page, it's really important to look at the information on the left hand side. Again, we've got more information about what to include with your doctoral thesis deposit. And then we've got more information about when to deposit and what type of parts to deposit to. So for open embargoed or controlled access theses, then you should label your file with thesis. For time limited restricted access theses, you should label them thesis restricted. And if you're uploading redacted copies, then you should choose thesis redacted. Additional files should be added as supplementary material and sensitive and third party copyright material should be uploaded as sensitive material or copyright permission. And if you have chosen indefinitely restricted access for your thesis, don't submit a thesis file when you create your record in Symplectic Elements. You can now choose your file and then choose the file version. So for uploading the thesis, you should choose thesis and for uploading your access confirmation form, you should choose thesis access confirmation form. Once you have added in your files, you should click use this file and then you'll be asked to press submit. Once you have submitted, then you'll be able to see all of the information that you have previously filled in on the previous form. And then this will give us a submission into our help desk system and a member of the thesis team will contact you within one to two working days to confirm the deposit of your thesis.